Hey Ross World, my money makes money. Going Dutch. Or is it going American? Because we're in America. I don't know. But people say going Dutch, basically say, hey, we're going on a date. Let's go Dutch, right? So first and foremost, let's just go ahead and <laughs> let's go ahead and put up these dukes, guys, because you know these girls gonna fight me back on this one. Now, if a girl claims uh, <laughs> quotes there. If she's old fashioned, she like, oh, I like to be courted. I like for a guy to take me out. I like for a guy to pay for dates. Then you have some who are very old fashioned. They want the guy to pay for absolutely everything. Absolutely everything. I don't agree with that at all. Hey, you have a job, I have a job. You have a career, I have a career. Yeah, I'm gonna be a man the way society has shaped men. Take you out a couple of times, but I expect for you to take me out if we get so far. But this is the thing. Do I agree with going Dutch or AKA going American? Going Dutch or going broke? Why am I making that correlation? Why am I comparing and contrasting going Dutch or going broke? And I'm gonna tell you why. For guys especially, going Dutch, it's a very good financial decision. Especially when you're like myself, Legally single, okay? Legally single. Does not mean that you're in separation. You, you know I'm getting at with that. I'm going to leave it alone, but you're legally single according to your state and also the <laughs> United States of America. You're single and you're trying to find a good mate. So you go out on different dates. You take different women out. And so, of course, if you're a gentleman like myself, I'm paying for the first date or the first couple of dates. So, going Dutch actually helps you to stay financially stable because in this agreement with this other female who's a, a mature adult understanding that hey she's out there dating you're out there dating but now it's a partnership even before it becomes a partnership what am i talking about you say well if he's really interested in the lady then he's going to court them and stuff like that that may be true but you may not be the one for him and so if he's going to take you out on a date, he's taking her out on a date and he's taking her out on a date. What if he's dating these women, like say for instance, in a month time, he goes on four dates and we know dates. I don't even want to put the number out there, but I go in a low ball. The cheapest date is probably 50 bucks. Okay. 50 bucks. You're like, where, where are they eating at? You know, some girls, I don't eat at Applebee's. Oh, I don't eat at Applebee's. I like the Stanford and Seaford, you know, a four star restaurant. So, I'm really lowballing 50. And then both of you are paying for gas to get there or if he picks you up. So it just matters. But women, understand that if a guy goes Dutch, if he asks you to go Dutch, he's not a cheap, he's not a cheapo. He may be financially sounded. He may want to say, hey, I just want to waste my money out here dating all these different females and not getting any, anything in return. And this has absolutely nothing to do with sex. So get sex out of the picture. This has everything to do with a guy looking for love and he doesn't want to become broke as he's trying to date these women. And you say, well, if he's not in that position, then why he's out there dating? The point is he is in a good position. He's in a good position to date a female, okay? But he's not in a position to date multiple females because first date with you, uh, I really don't like her. She's, she's like this, her attitude, her posture. I don't like her hair, her face, her lips, whatever. You know, everybody got all these isms why they don't like people. But this is the thing. He's going to move on to the next. Just like if you don't like him, but he likes you, you're going to move on to the next. And now he's got to do that all over again. Women have the power in this because when a man wants a woman, a man goes after a woman. Very seldom does a woman go after the man. Now, it happens sometimes, but very seldom. That's not our tradition, right? Because we base everything off our social norms. Believe it or not, society and our parents have brainwashed us to believe in one thing, and that's the man chases the woman. The man pays for this. The man pays for that. The man does this. But in this new day and age, it's shifting. The paradigm, the social atmosphere is shifting, and I believe... All of it's not bad. It's, some of it's pretty good. So do I go Dutch? I don't remember if I ever went Dutch. If I have went Dutch, it was one time and it's probably for like coffee. Have I been taken out on a first date by a female and she paid? 
yes, they insisted, right? Because I guess they didn't want me to feel the pressure, which was really no pressure. But the point I'm getting at, guys, is those are very special females who say, hey, it's not all about that. I ask you out, so I'm going to pay. And it's another thing. Here's my pet peeve. Women, don't ask a man out and then when y'all go out, expect him to pay. Because if any men are like me, hey, you want to go to movies? Hey, you want to go to dinner? Hey, you want to go snowboarding? Hey, you want to go bowling? If I ask you out, I'm paying. But don't ask me, say, hey, when you, w don't you want to go to dinner tonight? Then we go to dinner and then you slide the bill over to my side or they put the bill in the middle. You know how they close it down? They don't want you to see that goddamn price. Or you keep it right there and then it gets really awkward in one of those moments where everybody's waiting for the other person to pick up the bill. And so I have to be the person that flip it over and say, hey, here you go. <laughs> and she's like, what? You asked me out. Oh, well, I just want to see if you want to go to dinner. So you want to ask me out and me pay for dinner? It's the principle. It's the principle. But going Dutch is not a bad thing. But this is only for mature people or and or they're at a level where they really just trying to find somebody. It doesn't matter if they pay for their own meal or not. Now, if the guy insists, then go ahead. But if you like the guy, you find him attractive and you can even do it. So you don't even put no pressure on yourself on him. Say, hey, let's go Dutch or hey, I pay for you. Pay my. It doesn't matter what we have. It's not going to mess anything up. Just let them know because guys would get really weird. Like, well, if she's going to pay for it, that means that she don't like me. And if she doesn't like me, then wait a minute, maybe I should pay. All these things go through our mind just like your head. But if you say no, I like you um, so far, right? <laughs> Vice versa, both of them. But I just want to pay for my own meal. That's where there's no pressure. I know you got things going on. I got things going on. Or then you have the other women say, no, he's the man. He's going to pay the first date. I don't care how many women he's taking out. I got it. But the only, thing I'm, the only message I'm trying to get across is this. Going Dutch is not a bad thing because, men, going Dutch can stop you from going broke. Now, let's switch it. Boom. You can go broke because you didn't go Dutch. Is this something to think about? I'm throwing it out there. Maybe a few women catch a few wild hairs, but nevertheless, it's something to think about. Whether you male or female, while keeping a few dollars in your pockets. I tell you this. I tell you this. Have you ever took out a girl to a very expensive restaurant and the bill came back as $100 or $200? I have, right? And I paid that bill. I didn't blink. I didn't cringe. I paid that bill. Then when she took you out, she took you to Applebee's, TJF. And then when the bill came, she looked at the bills like $55. And she's like, oh, it's expensive here. Really? Last week, you really? This is Ross World. Going broke or go Dutch. I'm out.